worthy by design. It is indeed a beautiful day to be alive. Welcome to Worthy by Design. Brought to you by Advent Cable Network Nigeria, ACNN TV. And I am Iberia Chins. On this show, we we'll focus on the journey from girlhood to womanhood and everything in between. In the midst of a pandemic such as this, ladies and women more than ever need a basic knowledge of personal finance to help navigate the murky waters of the present economic downturn. As regards financial literacy, women have been said to consistently rank lower than the men, despite their acclaimed financial manager status at home. So our discussion today will look at financial management, savings, and investment for the woman. With me in the studio is one of the greatest women in Nigeria's history. She is Mrs. Priscilla Ekweme Eleje. Drum roll! <laughs> it's so good to have you, ma. Thank you so much. Thank you very She's much. She's the immediate past director of currency operations of the Central Bank of Nigeria. And I must say, it's a privilege to have you. I've been saying thank you since you got to the studio, and I'll keep saying thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining us on the show, Ma. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. Now, before we go into the whole financial management discussion, you have climbed the ladder of public service. Is it called public service? All the way to becoming the director of currency operations of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Anyway, viewers, if you don't know, that signature on the Naira notes, Priscilla Elege, is hers. You did all of that. How, how did you do it? You know, it looks like magic. How did you do it? <laughs> Tell us a bit about that. Well, I had a job to do. Mm. And I tried my very best mm. to do my job well. Mm. Um, all job, I mean, it was, also, it was not an easy job. But um, I rose through the ladder mm. to get to where, where I got to. But I will say that the summary is that in life, you need to work hard. Um, I was known as a workaholic. If I have to say so, I, without all modesty apart, mm. I believe I did my best, mm. working very hard and um, putting the bank first. Of course, above all that, God was very merciful mm. because you can be the very best around and you still won't get it. Right. So I, I always believe, I've always believed in the God factor mm. as being very strong in any situation in life. Mm. So I did my best. We had our struggles. We had all the competitions. But <coughs> the mercy of God, I will say, saw me true. Mm. But hard work, you have to work hard. <laughs> <laughs> Hard there's, work. There's no cut. There's no short cutting cut, shortcut to that. Right. There's none. <laughs> so for the young lady who is out there and wondering, ah, still where I am. I've not even got to, gone to school, or I don't have any experience. Is it possible for me to ever be like this great woman? What would you say to her? Um, with God, nothing is what. Nothing impossible. is impossible. But you have your own role to play. You have your own part to play. Don't see that woman say you will not go to school. There are many people who don't have people to train them. But they are eager. You can see, you can see the eagerness. You can see the zeal. Mm. All right? And they try. Mm -hmm. They try to, I mean, they, they, they save their little earnings. Even some of them are hairdressers. But I know my, 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 um, I have, I know hairdressers, I know tailors who have put themselves through school. Mm -hmm. And they're doing to exceptionally. The open, yes, to the open university. So don't just, don't get laid back. You know, most of us just give up. No, no, don't get laid back. Just know that it is possible to be, to be somebody. Once you have that as, have that, that mental attitude, it will spoil you to do so many, many things. So being a woman is not a limitation? It can be. How can? 
No, 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 no. I don't, anyway, I don't, if you've gotten that far, I don't, I don't, it's obviously not a limitation. I don't believe that at all. You it's not exclusive. So I, I wouldn't go into all of that. <laughs> we, hope, we hope we'll have some time for that sometime in the future. Be. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about the whole financial issue. What does financial management involve, yeah. especially for the woman? Well, I will. I will. What, I, I mean, I'm. I'm trying to make it as um, simplistic as possible. Mm. It involves how you plan the allocation of your financial resources, of your funds, of the money that you have. How do you plan? How do you plan your expenditure? How do you plan your allocation of the, of, of your money to the different needs that you have? Mm. Okay, I think that's basically what it is. Mm. You know, you have. You, you're earning maybe you, your salary is um, one thousand naira. How do you allocate? What do you allocate to the different needs that you have in the home? Mm. How do you, I mean, prioritize your needs and prioritize your, your allocation? Mm. So it, I mean, it, 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 it entails planning. Mm. You must plan it. If you don't plan, you don't plan it. If you don't make a budget, you, 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 you will spend much more than you earn. Mm. And that will give you financial embarrassment. So that's basically what it entails. Mm. How do you plan your expenditure? Mm. where you get your earnings. So are there set of rules that apply to women across board? Some will say, I'm a single woman. The other one will say, I am a single mother or a widow, a married woman. Do the same set of rules apply to all of these groups of women? Well, maybe there will be a little, um, a little uh, modification. Basically, the same thing. Same. You plan, everybody must plan mm -hmm. how you spend what you have. Mm -hmm. But you see, if you are a widow, it means that you are, you are a single mom. Mm -hmm. You don't have the father of your children. You don't have uh, your husband mm -hmm. to assist you. Mm -hmm. So you are, you are having to deal with all your expenses alone. So, I mean, it should be different from a young girl who has no responsibilities. Ah, she can afford to allocate a, a chunk of her money to the wish, I mean, to her clothes or to her jewelry. But you, you have to think of your children's school fees. You have to think of maybe your house rent. Mm. If it's a single girl living, living with her parents, she's not think, thinking of, 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 of paying rent. Okay? So it's, um, it differs a little mm. so based you have to on understand your situation. Your situation. Yes, yes. You know? okay. So your plans, you must understand the situation and plan you know, um, um, from that perspective. Mm. Uh, I mean, it's th that is wisdom. Right. You won't say, ah, I want to buy these clothes where well, you have school fees of your kids to pay. Mm -hmm. All right, you won't, unless you have um, another source. All right. So I think it, there's a little distinction. Um, okay. And now, a woman will be wondering, is, it, is there any need for me to ch take charge of my finances? For God's sake, okay, as a single lady, I'll, I'll get married someday, so why am I being bothered? Or a married woman, my husband will take care of that. Is there really a need for a woman to take care of of her finances. Yes, I was. I'm, I'm, I'm talking personally now, maybe. Right. Yes, and I will encourage our young children, our young girls, especially our girls. You should take care of your finances. You should learn how to manage. You should even learn it before you get married, mm -hmm. so that when you are when you are in the home, you will be able to manage what you are bringing and what your husband is bringing. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. but if you've never learned how to manage, so that should start early. Yeah, you should start early. Otherwise, when you get into the home and the husband gives you maybe 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 his own share, uh, his, his, I mean his own his own his own contribution is the feeding or maybe the rent. You you go and blow it because if you never know how to manage, <laughs> that begin to bring to cause tension in the home. Mm -hmm. Finances actually cause tension in the homes. True. Sure. So if you don't know how to, and of, I mean you may get married and your husband cannot afford some things, but because you don't know how to manage, you can't even manage little he gives to you. Mm -hmm. You waste it. You spend your children's school fees. All right? Mm. Maybe he's giving you the school fees or you are supposed to contribute. Mm. And your contribution, I mean, it could be the school fees or it could be or part of the school fees. And because you, do, because you don't know how to allocate your, 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 your financial resources, you have not planned it properly. Mm. You, have, you begin to have problems. Mm. So I think your wife, as early as possible, you know, that's why they, you have kids, they, they, they buy them, they teach them how to put away their, their pennies in the bank. bank and everything. It is teaching them to learn that early culture. Mm. Mm. So I, I think that everybody should, at all ages, mm. especially for the women. Mm. 
Mm. The earlier you can you are independent financially, the best. And it's good for your self esteem. Okay, let's talk about that. Yes, it's the earlier you are independent financially. Yes. Now, I, I like to ask this question. Mm. You know, they say men are scared of women who are successful yes. or independent women. You know, so a lady will now decide that mm, there's no need to even do this financial independence and let me just be living myself, my life, JJ. So what's your, your message to women like this? You being the person preaching the message mm. of financial independence. Mm. No, you shouldn't be afraid, you know, of investments <coughs> because you are, you are single. You should not be afraid of investments because you are young. Why? Look, any man who will become, um, do I call it, intimidated by that, he should be weary. Because that, that's why, I mean, I believe that, I believe in family. Mm. I don't believe you should bully your husband because by the mercy of God or, or whatever. Better. No, no, it should be once. You are married, so um, there's, there should be mutual respect, should be respect for your husband. Mm. Good. So I, I'm not for those. I'm not for, mm. for, for, for the women who feel that uh, they have arrived. Mm. That's not what I'm talking about. Mm. But if you are, I mean, your investment is for two of you. It's for the family. Mm. So why should you be, why should, why should you be, um, why shouldn't you make investments because you are married? You should be able to share it with him anyway. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, this is an investment I'd like to make. Mm -hmm. He can advise you. All right. Uh -huh. He can advise you about it. He should, he should be able to advise you. It's not what you hide. And no, no, that's not it. So, 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 so for a young woman, you should not run away from it. You should not run away from it. What if you have uh, uh, families? Won't you take care of your family? Mm -hmm. What if you have younger ones? Mm -hmm. Won't you do that because you are afraid that when you get, I mean, be afraid that because you, because you be getting married, the mom will be, no. You have parents who have sown their sweat into your life. Mm. And they she, deserve she, she to, to, yeah, care to, to take care of them. to take care of them okay. or to be a blessing to them, even, mm. even if they're not relying on you. Mm. So, but if you don't have the money, you don't have the means, and you, you can't do that. You be a burden to them. You should be a burden to them. You know, so, so there, there, there are many benefits mm -hmm. in a okay. woman. Now, let's, let's talk about the self-esteem you talked about earlier. Yes. Yeah. Self-esteem. Yeah. How does this, how does financial independence help a woman's self-esteem? Well, um, you will not like to appear like you have to depend on somebody for every single thing that you need. But they say men like, you know, women depending on them. To an extent. To an extent. Okay. When you become a burden, I'm t <laughs> when, you, when you become a burden, mm -hmm. before you know it, it becomes, you know, mm. before, you know, they begin to, they become ir irritable. Right. You know, they become irritable and um what shouldn't cause strife in the home? To begin to, uh -huh. But if you're, if, you, if you're able to take care of a few things around the home, you're helping the man. Do you want to kill him? Mm. You know, today, men are, not, are no longer the sole bread winners in a home. Mm. So you should be able to contribute in a home. No matter how small. No matter how small. But if you don't have any earnings at all, if you've not been able to make any savings, you know, it, and when I, I'm not talking about just going to work five uh, nine to five job. No, there's a lady down my street. I mean, that woman, she, she touches my heart every time. Mm. Down my street, she sells akara. Look, in the sun, she's there. In the rain, she's there. She's there all the time. The only time she didn't come out was during the pandemic. And the moment, the first time, you know, they relaxed the, 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 the guidelines, she was out. And I said, God, this woman, she's so hardworking. She's so hardworking. Later on, I learned. And you know what? Like I keep saying, you never know. Just work hard. Do your best. Mm. All right? I'm sure she's married. She's married. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know she's married. I found out she was married. Mm. Or I found out she's married. But you see, she was contributing to her home. So it's not only for people who go to work mm. nine to five. Mm. You say, yes, no. You can do something. That is what she can do. She's in a car on the road. And, she and she's respected for it. For it. I mean, I mean I've, I have, I've had to, because, you know, some people I know have had to bless her. Mm. Because they saw her work. People who didn't know her. Mm. People who did, she's, she's had, you know, 
She certainly had contact with even the permanent secretary because of her job. Whoa. More of this to come right after this break. Please stay with us. Every person who is charged with a criminal offense is entitled to defend himself in person or by a legal practitioner of his own choice. Remember that an individual is entitled to remain silent. Every citizen in Nigeria is entitled to maintain a private life. You are approaching a military checkpoint or a police checkpoint without knowing that it's against or it offends them and subject you to a frog jump. That is wrong. Welcome back to the show. We have been speaking with a powerful woman, Mrs. Priscilla Ekweme Eleje, the immediate past director of currency of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Remember, you can follow the discussion on our various social media handles on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Worthy by Design 20. Back to this discussion. You had said um, a woman's financial management skills, you know, can afford to add to her self-esteem. Now let's take this a notch further. How does a woman's personality affect her financial habits? Hmm. Well, if you are, you know, a very flamboyant person, mm. hmm? very, very flamboyant, mm -hmm. you spend big. <laughs> you, yeah, you spend big. You like, you like brand, you know, brand names. Mm -hmm. Like you won't uh, the regular cars are not mm. are not um, what you really enjoy. So your I mean that's your personality, mm. all right? So that's what like to affect the kind of expenditure you make. Okay. And um, if you're not careful, you may be spending much more than you earn, you earn which is where the problem, the problem is. is. Uh, but as I, I said, if you could, but of course you could spend that way. And You're still you, you can afford budget, it. Uh, yes. So, but that, that that's that's your personality mm. uh, showing mm. in the way mm. your expenditure pattern. So. so, for a lady who, you know, she has the capacity. Yeah. Like you said, anybody can be anything. Mm. Yeah. She has the capacity to have a good financial um, standing. Like she can be financially independent, yeah. but somehow. Mm, and then this thing, I cannot even stress myself. This money thing, I cannot even. How will this, you know, she's always complaining. How will this affect her capacity to build a sustainable financial plan for herself first and then for her family? Well, if you sit in one place and complain from morning to night, eh, and you have not moved, you remain there. You know, when I, when I was working, I used to tell my people, I said, for me, progress is what? If my, my, my aim is to get to that yellow chair, all right? As long as I can move from one point to this point, I'm okay. okay. I've made progress. One day, I will get there. Right. But when you sit in one place, and you don't, make, you don't take any step, I'm, I'm not discouraged by little achievements. Mm. I believe that little achievements, once I put on and I'm focused on my destination, I will get to where I'm going to. Mm. So if you, instead of you to ask questions, how can I, you know, how can I um, maximize what I have, mm. okay? You don't ask questions, you don't do any, just sit down and complain. You will remain there. Mm. You remain there. So you need to take some steps. You must take some do steps. something. You must take, yes, you must take some steps. Savings. We, 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 everybody knows that mothers, <laughs> they always have money tucked away somewhere, we no matter how small. They always have money tucked away somewhere. But is savings enough to have an independent financial life? Well, things have changed. Things have really changed. The economic climate has changed so many things. 
you know, the inflation has wiped away yes. you know, your savings and them. So I wouldn't say that savings are enough any longer. Mm. They're not enough. They're not enough at all. Um, you could look at the other investments. Right. Of course, but they're not, they're not even too encouraging now. Right. So what's the fate of a woman out there who is thinking, I have some money and you're saying savings is not enough. Yes. So what do I do with money and you're saying investment too mm. are not encouraging. Yes. What do I do you with know, it? You know, see, what, what I mean is, you see, you, if you leave your money in the bank, you get nothing. True. Sure. Good. So, okay, so, okay, let me try NTB. I mean, the rate is so, Zero so little. Good. So, well, you can try the capital market. There's a rebound now, you know. But first of all, you need to talk to a, a good broker. Right. You need to understand what it takes. You need to know about the, the companies that are doing well. So you need to educate yourself. Right. Uh, so that's, that's, that's somewhere that one, one could go to. Okay. All right. Of course, you also have merchant banks. Okay. You can buy commercial papers. But even commercial, commercial papers too. The papers, but at least they are better than the banks. Mm. They are better than NTB. Nigerian treasury bills. Right. Uh -huh, treasury bills. Mm. So... So you, you could uh, look at commercial papers. Mm. Those are the ones by um, organizations, you know, the private organizations. Uh -huh. So um, you, can, you, can, you can invest in those ones, okay? The rates are better than NTB. There's about two point something or so, okay. the last I checked. So you can invest in those ones. Of course, you can also invest, you can go to the merchant banks and they, they have uh, mutual funds. They have, they have some products that the rates are slightly better. Maybe some about four point something, some about five point something, which is better than leaving your money in the bank. So the whole idea is to find out where your where the interest is better and can yield something. Yield, yeah, for you. So put it there before it falls. Okay. But just but don't leave your money in the bank where you know I will not leave my money in the bank. Why I know that? <laughs> I, I always look for where can I get a little something a little more. a little more. But you see, but because um, because. Those, this, these areas are not giving as much yield as they used to. Mm, it's discouraging. It, yes. You can, you, you can look for other ways to invest your money. Okay? Some people invest, for those who have money, they invest in, the, in um, real estate. Right. You can go that way. So that's uh -huh. an option. An option for those who have big money because that's actually an expensive thing to do. Okay. Yes, Let's okay. talk about Ponzi schemes. You know, that's, if you say, bring 10 naira, you get 200 naira. Run. Simple. Run. 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 <laughs> Run. Well, many people may not agree with me. Mm. But um, I would not invest in Ponzi, 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 Ponzi schemes. schemes. Any scheme that pays you such exorbitant um, interests, you should look at it. Know that it is high risk. Mm. It's high risk. And what it means is that you have a very high risk of losing, of losing your money. money. So the money that you are trying to, you want it to grow, mm -hmm. before you know it, it is at zero. So for Ponzi schemes, I will say what? Run. And you know, they're not regulated by so the financial So you can yes. anybody There's nobody. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's nobody at all. You know, mm -hmm. the, you, you have no recourse to, to, to anybody. Mm -hmm. So you, you're just on your own. So I would personally say, I won't invest in Ponzi schemes. No. Tell us a little bit about retirement savings accounts. I know that is for um, a lot of government organizations make that available and some private sectors. Mm. They make that available for their um, staff. Yes. But for a woman who is selling a car, yes. you spoke of a woman who's selling yes. a car, and a woman who has a shop in Wuse Market, mm. who doesn't have any of this? She just leaves, okay, I sell, I keep some aside, and then I take care of my children. Yeah. What can these people do yes. to have a sustainable income for retirement in one minute? You know, actually, I found out that um, the La Pencom, mm. they have a scheme for them now. Oh, okay. Yes, 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 yes. I have a scheme for them. Um, <coughs> so I will, I will, I will uh, recommend, or I will, I will tell that they should go to the um, PFEs. Pension and fund administrators yeah, and get more information. I do understand that they have this micro pension fund for people like this. For individuals. Individuals, yes. Okay. So that they can. I don't have the details, but you see, if they go to any PFA, uh, um, yeah, pension, pension fund, fund administrators, administrators yes. they can advise them. They can tell them. They can.
can give them all the information they need so they can they really know how they can begin to put in a little away and build yes. up something it's it's available for them now okay so there's an option for yeah. everybody Body. your future they say is in your hands so is your financial destiny take it seriously no one can care about it more than you it is not too early or too late to make that plan save something and invest the bulk and your future will have you to thank so to our guest mrs priscilla ekoeme Elege. I like that middle name. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on the show. Good. I'm so excited. I can't show it here. You're welcome. Right. So this is where we say thank you to our guests and thank you to the viewers for watching. It's a wrap on today's edition of the show. Join us again next week, same time, same station for another interesting edition of the show. Until then, remember ladies, you are worthy by design. See you next time.